Right guys, so this is my um, test of this uh, 177 magazine that I've made today for testing purposes. Now uh, I've got a 177 barrel um, in my uh, dream line, but I, uh, I'd, have a, I'd have to take the shroud off it and it would fit in here perfectly. But I don't have the uh, 177 probe unfortunately, so I can't test it at all. So uh, a couple of people on the forums have um, kindly offered to uh, test them out for me uh, on the sale or return if it doesn't work. But I think it will because if you look at that there, the pellet is perfect, lined up perfectly and this is a 2-2 barrel and if you look, bear in mind this is brand new so this is a bit stiff, it will bed in a little bit after a little while. Oh, I can't do it one handed, bear with me. <laughs> It up there like that. Oh, you can just about see it there, can't you? This is this is a two-handed job, so you can see here looks okay. So we'll try again, two hands. Click there, you go. That's in there. Um, like I said, it will bed in a little bit as it uh, as it uh, kind of uh, finds its place. So let's make this safe. Okay. What I'll do now is uh, take you into the uh, the workshop and uh, show you how they cycle. Oh, fall off the chair. Right, so let's get it all set up again. So we're going to be down here like this. And what I've got in here at the m what I've got in here at the moment is a set of uh, what are they? 10.34. These ones. Okay. Now I say I don't have a 2-2 probe. Oh, one thing I did want to say to you all is, one thing I've learned, I've made about I don't know, 30 or 40 of these magazines now, and the, only, the, the most important thing on them isn't this hole where your probe goes through in the lid. So, well, it is, so long as it's bigger than the pellet that you're using or the probe that you're using, that doesn't matter. So you could quite easily use a 30 cal lid on, on um, a 2-2 magazine, for example. Um, the only difference, other difference in the lids, other than the hole in there, is the, the, this shallow window for the pellets. So obviously the bigger the calibre you need, uh, this inside thicker part gets, sm gets smaller and smaller. Now, so that doesn't matter. And also, equally what doesn't matter is the size of this hole in the base of the magazine where the pellet comes through, because it does nothing to um, line the pellet up or anything. So that doesn't really matter, although I have put a, a smaller one on this one, just to keep things neat and tidy. And what is important is inside the inside the magazine. I'll just get the lid off and show you. What is important is the. I think you can see this. Even is the shape of this little lip that we that I've put on here to hold the pellet in place. And the other thing that's important is the other side of the sh uh, the hole in the rotor, or rather the pellet space in the rotor, because when the pellet's being held in position, it's only being contacted on it say. Imagine a clock, so it's only being contacted at like 2 o'clock and 7 o'clock. Uh, so this part here and this part here are the only bit that are really, really, really important. So, uh, oh, and the other thing you might notice is, uh, anyone that has, hasn't had a um, 177 impact magazine loaded in front of them before will think, oh my god, how many pellets are in there? Now normally there's 38, but what you'll notice is I've been a little bit been just because I could, I wanted, like doing things differently. I've been a little bit creative on the stopper up here, and if you look, I've shaped the stopper so that it will go round. It was almost enough room for another pellet, but I've shaped it a little bit. It still works, it still stops. As you, um, you'll see in a minute when it gets all the way to the other end, and it will still uh, act as a pellet probe uh, stopper so that you know you haven't got another pellet when you get to the other end. Um, but um, what it uh, uh, what it's allowed us to put in 39, so there's actually 39 pellets in here. Okay. So I'm going to put the lid back on, and uh, oh, by the way, my click, you do have um, ball bearings and springs in here, just like the original one, but if you listen, it does stop, it does occasionally click, but it doesn't click quite as like you're used to, but that's just uh, another benefit of this one. Quieter, if you're out hunting, you need to be quiet. So we're putting back on there. Uh, right, so I'm going to have a go at... Uh, I don't know if it's going to work or not. I'm going to have a go at emptying this magazine into this uh, lid uh, without damaging my pellets too much uh, to simulate uh, getting through all 39. So let's go. Oh, the, I said I don't have a probe, so I'm just using this, this smaller this drill, so I don't, I don't want to damage them too much. 
three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whoops, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah. Aha, we have damage. Okay. Not good. What's going on there? Hmm. Ah. Hmm. What was that? Let's see if that happens again. Maybe, oh, you know what it was. I was. <laughs> I think I was holding the lid down instead of this central part, because the lid. If there's any pressure on that lid, it will cause that. Let's see if it happens again. It's so obviously that the uh, rifle doesn't press on the uh, lid in that place. Just hold it in the middle. Guys, this is a faff. This is as fiddly as it looks, by the way. There we go. That's the stopper. So that's that was 39. Um, so uh, I've promised this to someone. I can't remember his name. Uh, that'll go, be going in the post. This will be going in the post today for uh, real life testing. And um, I'm going to do another one tomorrow for someone else who I've also promised one to do. So we've got two people testing this out this week or this weekend, hopefully. Thanks.